Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to make an origami box. So I'm going to show you how to do that with this. So the first thing you need to do is take a regular sheet of paper and fold it to where this corner lines up exactly flush. And you get this extra little chunk at the end. Really crease that edge and then chop off this extra piece you have at the end. We're going to set that off to the side because we don't need it for this next part. You're going to need to do this with two pieces of paper. So you end up with two squares. Now, with this square, you've already got a fold that goes from that corner to that corner. You're going to take your piece of paper and fold it again and making those two corners that have the crease in them touch. Really crease that outside edge. Okay? Unfold it. And then you're going to crease it instead of corner to corner, side to side. So fold and crease it where the sides match, like that. Open it again and fold it to where your sides match. Crease that edge really, really well. You want all of these lovely creases. It will look kind of like a spider web when you open it up. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take one corner, point it towards you, and then flip it over, point it right at the very center, and crease the edge you just made. Then take this whole side, flip it up to the very center, and crease that side that you've just made. You're going to follow these steps and do it again on every single side. So I'm going to show you again here. Fold your corner up to the middle, and then your side to the middle unfolding as you go. Come around, corner up to the middle, and side to the middle. Corner up to the middle, and side up to the middle. These are the grids. You see you've got a whole grid covered in little boxes that are going to help us fold this piece of paper into one half of a box. Now, this part's not technically origami because origami means folded paper, but we're going to make a little cut. It makes it a little bit easier, I've found, for my students to see the next step. So at one corner, you're going to make a cut that is two boxes in, two boxes apart. So if you look for the little triangle at the end, the end of your triangle to cut two boxes in, scoot over two boxes, cut two boxes in. You should have a little tabby. Nothing should fall off. You're not cutting anything off. Turn it around to where that little tabby is exact opposite of the corner facing you. Do the same thing again. Two tab boxes in will make your tab. Two boxes in make your tab. You can't cut further than that. If you cut past this line, it won't make a box. Now here comes the complicated part, the folding. You are going to fold this piece in back towards the middle. We've already done that. Now you're going to take these little arms and you're going to fold them in all the way to where you cut it, making this L shape on both sides. That L shape. Okay, then turn it around. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Fold it to the middle. Fold the little arms in. Really crease the edge where you cut that piece earlier. Really crease that edge. Turn it to us. Pop your little arms open to where they're standing up. Grab two arms and pull them together. Hold that with one hand. With the other hand, pull your tab up and over those two arms and it holds up and makes the wall of your box. So I'm going to come around to the other side, do the same thing, pull my two arms together, pull my tab up and over, and I have one half of my box. Nice 3D little box. To make the other half of my box, I follow the same steps with my other square of paper. Fold corner to corner really creasing that edge open, fold side to side, really creasing that edge again, open, fold side to side, 
And then all of the sections in the middle, do the same steps again, fold to the center, side to center, point to center, side to center. Once you get good at this, it goes really fast. You get real used to it. Point to center, side to center. And last side, point to center, side to center. And there I go, I have my box. Now all I have to do is cut two boxes in, two boxes in. Make the cuts, if you figure that way out, that would be amazing. Please show me how, because I need this the cuts. Then to assemble it, fold your side little arms in, crease them really good. Fold towards the center, fold your little side arms in, crease it really good. So that's going to make your box stand up, remember? Then pop your little arms open, pull them together, and pull the tab up and over to make your wall. Now, normally just because of human error, one of these is going to be a little bit bigger than the other. So one of them should fit inside of the other one. There we go. We have a completed box with two parts, a lid and a base.